Our learning target today is I can add and subtract three digit numbers using place value. Your success criteria is I will know I am successful when I can solve real life addition and subtraction problems. We are going to continue our work in solving addition and subtraction story problems or real life problems. And this is really important because in real life you're not always given an equation, but rather real life situations in which you have to figure out what the equation is you need to solve and then solve it. So right now be thinking in your head, what are some real life situations where you would be adding and subtracting and using the skills that you're learning right now. Think about when you're saving for something or when you're going to the store to buy something. Those are all really great examples of reasons why you would need to use addition and subtraction. So because this is a second lesson, I am going to give you a problem and I want you to try it on your own first. I want you to pause the video, grab a sheet of paper, read through this problem very carefully and then solve it and then start the video again and we can go through it together. Pause the video. Okay. While I am thinking this problem aloud, I want you to go through your work and see if you did it the same way I did. And if you did, great. And if you didn't, figure out what it is you can do different next time to make sure that you, you ab you're able to solve the story problem correctly. Okay, Joe passes out free tickets to a show. He passes out 516 at the library, 257 at the park, and 137 at the store. How many more tickets did he pass out at the library than the store? Hmm. When I read that problem, I notice something. There are three numbers in this problem. So now I need to go back and really think carefully. What is this problem asking me? How many more tickets did he pass out at the library than at the store? Oh, I think this 259 tickets at the park is extra information. I don't need that. This question is asking me just about the library and the store. And in fact, it says how many more tickets did he pass out at the library than the store? And I notice that it, it has this than, how many more than. So I know I am comparing how many tickets he sold at the library than the store. And therefore, I need a comparison bar. If I want to be successful, I'm going to build that comparison bar. Even if I think I know the operation, the comparison bar helps me visualize what's missing and what I need to do to solve. So I know that there's 516 at the library and 137 at the store. So I know which one gets the big bar. This question is asking me to figure out the more than or less than. And we know the more than or less than always goes in the oval because it didn't, it's not asking me how many were at the store and it's not asking me how many were at the library. It's asking me how many more than or less than. And that is always the oval. That's the difference. So I also know that I'm missing a part because I'm not missing the big bar. And I also know that I have to have a smaller number for there to be how many more I would have need to, Joe would have need to pass out at the store. It couldn't be a bigger number because then he would pass out more at the store than all to get than at the library. And that doesn't make sense. So I can't add, I need to subtract. Okay, I've lined up my place values, and just like we always do, I'll start in the ones place. Six minus seven, I can't do it, there's more on the floor. I will take a 10, that gives me zero tens and 16 ones, so I can subtract seven, that gives me nine. Now I need to go to the tens place. Zero minus three, I cannot do it, I need to go next door. Take a hundred, when I regroup it, it becomes 10 tens. One 100 is equal to 10 tens. 10 minus the three tens I already have is seven tens. And now I just need to subtract my hundreds place. Four minus one is three one hundreds. So 379 is how many more tickets Joe passed out at the library than the store. Well, I know that we need to check our work. And so I also know if I put these two parts together, I should end up at 516. So if I add the parts back, thinking about the math mountain and the relationship between addition and subtraction, I'm going to put these two parts together and I should get the total of 516. 
Be so 9 plus 7 is 16. That gives me a new 10. 10 plus 3, that should be easy. That's a 10 plus 1 more makes 11. I have a new 100. So 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. 516. Yep, my answer is correct. If there were 379 more tickets passed out at the store, it would be the same 516 as at the library. All right. Your success criteria was I will know I am successful when I can solve real life addition and subtraction problems. Here is your math to do list. Watch the tutorial video in Google Classroom if you need it. It is not required. Complete the practice pages in Seesaw. Those are required. And then one assignment in iknowit.com. Have fun.